What's up, yes gamers? Robert the Bruce here, and this is the final video of my series on increasing your accuracy. This video is here to wrap up the series with a few final tips, along with my personal recommendations on where to go from here. Now, if you stumbled across this video first, I strongly urge you to click the box on the screen and go back to the first video. Go through the videos in order, follow the steps, do the homework, and watch your accuracy go up. Now, let's review what we've covered. In video one, we practiced only firing from the hip in every engagement. This helped us retrain our brains to acquire the bad guys in the hip fire sights first before we do anything else. With hip fire sights being much larger, this is easy to do and made for a great starting point. Now in video two, we adjusted sensitivity levels so that our sensitivity when zoomed in would be 20% slower than our hip fire. Then we played team deathmatch, acquired enemies in hip fire sights first, and then aimed down the sights to fire and finish them off. This helped us transition aiming down the sights in an easier way while furthering to help us forget our old methods of aiming at bad guys that left us sending bullets all over the place. In video three, we upped our zoomed in sensitivity back to normal and ran through more TDM games, letting our reflexes adjust. We also practiced standing still when engaging enemies at medium to long range so that our strafing didn't negatively affect our bullet spread. Now this brings us to video four, where, like I said already, we'll top it off with a few more accuracy tips to round everything out. First off, I caution you against using any kind of zoom sight for a while. Aiming with an ACOG sight, for example, makes it much harder to stay on point, especially if the target is moving. We are working hard to forget old bad habits of spraying bullets everywhere, so we don't want to equip something that will lead us down that path again. Stick with a one-time zoom sight like the holographic, red dot, or cobra, while you continue to hone your skills. If you insist on using a three or four time zoom, really try to set yourself up for longer distance engagements. This way the enemy won't be moving across the screen quite as fast and you won't get into a panic with trying to keep them in your sights. Now we really haven't spent a lot of time talking about this, but one thing you will see good players doing is burst fire. In fact, most of your engagements should have you burst firing your weapon, typically three to four rounds, then let off the trigger quickly and then three to four rounds again. Rinse and repeat until the enemy is down. The longer you hold down the trigger, the more the in-game mechanics will start to spread the bullets out. This means even if you're managing to keep your sights on the target, the bullets will actually fly wider and wider, resulting in less hits. Now, the only time you shouldn't burst fire at all is if the enemy is right up on you. Then you want to let loose with as many rounds as you can to finish them off first. If they're very far away though, don't even burst, just tap single shots off. By altering how long you hold the trigger in relation to how far away the enemy is, you greatly increase your chances of more shots staying on target, thereby getting you the kill. Lastly, if you feel like you're having an off night, don't just push on hoping for a change. Back out, pop in a team deathmatch game, and repeat this whole video series, but do it very quickly. Spend half a game only acquiring enemies in hipfire sites, and then spend the second half of that game acquiring them at the hip first, and then ADSing to fire. Remind yourself of good fundamentals, then go rejoin whatever game you were playing before. You'll be more confident, and you'll have your skills refreshed so that you can have a good rest of the evening. Powering forward while doing terrible is only going to leave you frustrated and blaming things like netcode as you continually die. I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you have any buddies that you think could benefit from this, shoot them a link to the first video so that they can also improve. As always, hit me up in the comments. If any questions you have, or if you just want to say hi, and I'll see you in my next video. If you haven't yet, treat yourself and click that subscribe button. Click the question mark below it to be taken to a totally random video of mine. No guarantees which one you will get. Lastly, if you're on Twitter, follow at YeshGaming because it is my favorite way to communicate with you.